Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to another Touchdowns to Home Runs and today we are back talking football and I'm going to give you my reasons for why the Baltimore Ravens will defend the North again this year. But just before we get started on that, I just want to say for those of you who have sub subscribed, thank you so much. Your support means a lot to our channel. Me and my partner Bernie appreciate it a lot and we are constantly trying to put out some of the best content, sports content on YouTube for you guys so you guys will keep liking our videos so you guys will keep coming back so we have something for you every day we're trying to post a lot so thank you for, for your support and for you guys who haven't subscribed definitely go hit that button now we promise we will not let you down and now let's get started talking about why these ravens will win the north again this year so in my opinion i have the afc north as the best division in the nfl it's obviously between them and the nfc west who's got the 49ers the cardinals the seahawks and the rams i like this division i love the afc north this year it's just such old school football that's what i really get the feeling from this division it's just smash mouth football these guys have some seriously good defenses up here except for the Bengals. but look the browns the Steelers and the Ravens all have stacked defenses. The Browns and the Ravens have elite offenses if Baker Mayfield could show up. The Steelers, I don't know what to think of them yet. It depends on how Big Ben does this year. And then you had the number one overall pick in the draft, Joe Burrow, who could who could come in and absolutely shock the world. Um, he definitely has the talent. I'm a huge Joe Burrow fan, so I would definitely not be surprised um, if... The Bengals come out of nowhere are a good team, but I am taking the Ravens and let me tell you why. So first off, I have Lamar will still be unsolvable. I don't think teams will have completely figured him out yet. People will say, well, what about the Titans? The Titans held him. They had a terrible game that game. I think that that was just a bad game for the Ravens. They just slipped up. Derrick Henry controlled them in the run game and their offense just couldn't get going. I don't think that that ended the eliteness or the skill that Lamar has I still think that he will have close to the same year if not the same year that he did last year it's definitely an MVP front runner again so I have Lamar having a big year next year Hollywood Brown he's a guy that I feel will really take a step up as a sophomore in the NFL second year guy he's got that experience now and he's surrounded by a good team you still got willie sneed on that receiving core and you got the two tight ends they uh traded hayden hurst which i'm sad about because i'm a huge gamecocks fan they traded him to the falcons but they still got mark andrews and nick boyle and they use those tight ends a lot so hollywood brown i feel like with everything in this offense just talent all around him he's gonna have a lot of more chances to make big plays this year and i'm excited for him he's one of my favorite players in college football history i loved watching him at oklahoma so i can't wait to see him this year they had a huge addition in the backfield this year with jk dobbins uh now people don't look at this but jk had better rushing stats than ezekiel elliott in college uh, J.K. Dobbins is still slept on by a lot of people. I think that that was an absolutely amazing pick by the Ravens taking him. I forget what round it was, but it was later than I expected him to go. So that was a great pick. And they still have an amazing O-line to control that run game. And he still got Mark Ingram in the backfield. Lots of talent, lots of Heisman talent, especially on this team. You still got RG3, Lamar Jackson, and Mark Ingram. There was one at one point... Uh, in a game last year, I remember seeing on the check down or something on Instagram that uh, they had an all Heisman backfield because Lamar, Mark Ingram, and um, RG3 were all in the backfield. So that was just something cool. Their defense, they still have an elite secondary with Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, and Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas, nothing changing there. I'm expecting them to take a step up from this year. They're really good in the secondary. They added Calais Campbell to that D-line, added Patrick Queen as a linebacker. I loved watching him at LSU this year, and I'm excited to see what he has to do in the NFL. So enough talking about the roster. I want to go back to how they will do against for those six games in the nfc afc north not nfc um i have them going five and one and i have them be having their one loss to the steelers on the road tough place to play amazing defense led by minka fitzpatrick for the uh steelers and tj watt really good defense uh i feel like the steelers offense 
will be good enough for one game to beat the Ravens. I don't think it'll happen twice. I think that they'll get them on the road. But I don't see the Browns beating them. I'm not buying into the Browns hype until Baker Mayfield proves to me that he is a good quarterback, an elite quarterback. I loved him his rookie season. I actually went to a Browns game in his rookie season to go see my Carolina Panthers play. He played lights out that game. Just haven't seen that since his rookie season. He really struggled last year. I'd love to see Mayfield do well. He's a fun player to watch. But until he shows me that he can be that elite level player, I'm taking the Ravens. And then the Bengals could shock us again. I have no clue. Joe Burrow could come in and absolutely blow the NFL away. But if I had to put money on it, I'm still taking the Ravens two games against them. So I have with this team is just too solid on both sides of the football to lose more than one game in this division. And that being said, they will win this division going five and one. If I had to pick, I'd probably have the Steelers... If the Ravens don't win, I'd have the Steelers winning it. Maybe the Browns, again, depends on Baker Mayfield does. I think that the Browns have more talent than the Steelers. I just think that the Steelers are a lot better executed team. and They have a lot more of experience and stuff like that. But I have the Ravens winning, and those are all my reasons why I have the Ravens winning the NFC. AFC. Why do I keep saying NFC? I'm a Bears fan too, so that's why I keep saying NFC North. I'm used to saying NFC North. That's why I have the Ravens winning the AFC North. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like what we're doing, definitely go drop a like and a comment and a sub down below. And thank you for watching, and come back next time.